The current UFC middleweight champion Michael Bisping said that Daniel Cormier should not accept the UFC light heavyweight title if John Jones gets stripped. If they give it back to DC, I mean, it's kind of weird. No, 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 I don't think they will. If they give it to DC, he's default champ, DC default champ, and it just, you know, it goes too easy. What they got to do, but the thing is, if they gave it to DC, DC then is going to have to defend the belt, right? So then therefore the belt is up for grabs anyway. So what they do is they make the belt vacant. Of course, Dan, Daniel Cormier becomes number one contender and he fights somebody else. I think that would be the best way to play it. If I was Daniel Cormier, I wouldn't want to be given it because he's walking into a PR nightmare. People will always say, oh, he was given the belt um, after getting knocked out which obviously isn't a good look to Joe Public. So say, no, I don't want the belt. Make it a vacant uh, uh, belt, a vacant title, and I will fight for it against whoever the, the other guy's gonna be. And if he wins, he becomes champion, which is the exact same situation as being given the belt because he has to defend it in his next fight anyway. You know what I'm saying? Chal Sonnen explains the problem with the trilogy fight between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. There is some talk that I believe is true, that Conor McGregor is going to be fighting uh, Nate Diaz at the end of the year, do the trilogy, get that out of the way. Let's say that that does happen. Let's say it's Conor versus Nate. That's going to be for the title. Now, those guys want to fight over a grudge. However, because Conor's champion, that becomes a title match, so now you have to balance that against the ratings, or rankings rather, where I believe Nate sits number seven. In the meanwhile, we will have an interim champion at that weight because Kevin Lee and Tony Ferguson are getting ready to fight for that belt. I've always been a supporter of the interim title, but I've been a supporter because I thought I understood it. One of the things is if you have an interim champion, his next fight is against the current champion and, you know, they kind of belt versus belt and we all move forward. If we've got an interim champion, the winner of Kevin Lee versus Tony Ferguson, but then the next championship fight isn't with them, it's it's with, in this case, it'll be Nate, it could be anybody, but in this case, it'd be Nate. I start to get confused why we're having the interim title. And then let's just say that that does happen and that's at the end of the year, but Tony and uh, Kevin Lee are going to fight next month. What do they do in the meantime? Does the winner of that fight have to sit out until roughly April or May of next year until that big match can happen? Or do they go fight somebody in between and the interim title goes on the line? And now we start to have a lineage for the interim title while we're having a lineage for the undisputed title before we get those guys together. I get confused. With the talks of a trilogy fight with Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz, it looks like Nate Diaz is back in training as he posted this on his Instagram. Mike Jackson posted this on his Instagram calling out CM Punk. On this day, Rashad Evans knocked out Chuck Liddell at TFC 88 in Atlanta, Georgia and Michelle Waterson defeated Yusuko Tamada by TKO retaining an atomweight title at Invicta FC 8. A matchup between Karolina Kovalkiewicz and Jody Escobel is announced for UFC Final 118 and here is Anderson Silva training.